Therapy Thursday. Today we're going to look at some exercises for the low back, specifically isometric exercises to target the paraspinal muscles, the low back muscles that support your uh, low back. We know in chronic low back pain that there is this process where pain in the early phases causes muscle inhibition. Muscle inhibition leads to deconditioning and atrophy, and eventually there's some fatty infiltration. This deconditioning process we can combat through a specific exercise program to target these extensor paraspinal muscles of the low back. So that's the approach here today. And for chronic low back pain, we've been doing uh, an exercise approach for many, many years. Some recent research has spurred this Therapy Thursday, specifically in patients with disc herniations. So disc herniations, in this case, we've got a specific target to try and combat this deconditioning in disc herniation patients. So I'm going to show you how we often like to set it up to target the extensor musculature. If you have a bench or potentially even a bed that you can put close enough to the wall or an ottoman close enough to the wall, or if you have an exercise ball like so that you can lean off of, getting yourself set up will be an important part of getting this to work properly for you. So I've got the bench in this case underneath my pelvis. I've got my feet against the wall to support my lower body to kind of stabilize through the pelvis. And off the edge, I'm then gonna support my upper body. Now to make these exercises work, just like many different exercise approaches, there has to be sufficient intensity. So for me, I'm gonna add a little bit of weight, a little dumbbell here, and I'm gonna hold it in front of me. For this isometric approach, we're gonna do a four to six second hold. We're looking for about a minute of work. So if we're gonna do a five second hold, we're looking for a 12 reps. If we're gonna do six uh, reps, would be uh, or six second holds, it would be 10 reps, and four, it would be 15 seconds. So again, a minute of work is what we're aiming for. So I'm gonna hold here, and then let the dumbbell down slowly, and ease off the pressure on my low back. Lift the dumbbell up, hold my upper back, three, four, five, and repeat the process. The nice thing about this isometric approach is there's no quick movements. We're holding our back still, and to produce the workload, make those muscles work, we're just creating an intensity where we have to hold the position. So we're looking for this intensity to be about a seven to eight out of 10 after your full one minute of work. So again, this is the isometric exercise approach to build up your paraspinal muscles in your low back. The one other thing I'd like to add, you can do this in varying positions. So you don't have to be in this, what I would call neutral position, meaning my shoulders in a straight line to my knees and my ankles. If for your back circumstance, it feels a bit better to be in a slightly forward flex position, find that comfortable position and load it. There is no evidence to say that you have to be in that neutral position to get benefit to building, to rebuilding these low back, low back muscles. If you don't have any access to an exercise ball or a table, you can do it <clears throat> off the floor, but it's a little more vulnerable because the position is in a slightly extended position in your low back. So we don't like this option to start with, but if you don't have anything else available and this is the only setup, that you can figure out. Give it a try and see if your back can tolerate. Again, I've got my feet against the bench here or against the wall, arms up overhead, and we're gonna extend, trying to create a lever point where the low back is the primary hold. If you need a little extra load, you can grab some light weight and extend and hold. Two, three, four, five. Again, these are isometric exercises meant to create work through a hold position. See you next week on Therapy Thursday.